Thank you for sticking with us. I'm now joined by Heidi Davidson with the Grand Junction Police Department. Welcome back to the studio. Thank you. I love to come in here. Well, we love to have you. Thanks. <laughs> so today you're going to talk to us about online reporting, which is a really cool thing that I think the community can, can do and interact with the, the police department. Absolutely. You know, today actually we did something a little different on our Facebook and we did kind of a snapshot of the calls for service okay. and the resources that we had at a certain time. Um, we had 16 patrol officers on duty at this given moment and we had 20 calls pending for service, oh, wow. 20 active calls for service on the board, which isn't all that abnormal, but we thought what a great opportunity to talk a little bit about different reporting options and how we can make it as convenient for people as possible. Absolutely. Now, it's summertime, yes. so the weather can affect different types of crime. Yes. This is another thing that kind of ties into online reporting. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, as the weather gets beautiful and it's nice all night long, there can be more people with bad intentions who have prolonged hours where they can <laughs> go out and kind of facilitate that criminal activity. So you wake up in the morning and your car has been broken into, your, your mailbox has been knocked over, or your house has been egged, or any of those awful things that people experience that can certainly happen all year long. Mm -hmm. But when the weather's nicer, there's a longer window of opportunity for time to perpetuate those kinds of crimes. Absolutely, and it's no secret that the Grand Valley's been growing and that the sometimes emergency services are a little short-handed, which creates a long wait. Yes. But online services can help that. Yes, we are doing the best that we can. With the resources we have, we are doing the best that we can to prioritize and triage calls. Obviously, anything with a danger to life or property is going to be prioritized. But what that means is a victim who has been um, whose, whose home has been vandalized or their car's been broken into, they are absolutely a victim. Their voice needs to be heard. They need the opportunity to report that crime. And sometimes online reporting is the way to do that without having to add salt to the wound and have the added frustration of a long wait mm. for an officer to respond. And that makes sense. Now, how does this work? How can someone can... I mean, obviously you go online. You bet. <laughs> so, so if you are the victim of a crime where there, no one's hurt, it's not a crime of violence, um, it's not an emergency. Obviously, if it's an emergency, you need to call 911. Mm. This isn't an emergency. There's no suspect information. Nobody's hurt. There's no evidence left behind. A perfect example is you wake up in the morning and your car doors are open and your change is stolen from your ashtray. Mm. That's an example of a crime where certainly we, we want you to report that and you may need to report it for insurance purposes. Go online, gjcity.org. You're going to see public safety right there. When you click on that link, it's going to take you to file an incident report. And it'll walk you step by step through what you can report, how to report it. You can print a free copy right there online. An officer is still going to review every single report that's submitted. This okay. is not a substitution for an officer looking at it. It just provides you a way to do it at your convenience without having to wait for an officer to respond. Okay, now you mentioned that perfect situation for online reporting. How can someone know if their situation is needed to, to use online reporting. Is appropriate yeah, for it, appropriate. sure. So the parameters are not, nobody's hurt. This okay. is not a crime of violence, it's not an assault. There is no suspect information. You have no idea who did it. It's not an emergency, mm. okay? It's not time sensitive. Um, those are all examples of things that you can report. A theft, a cold theft, a cold vandalism where your mailbox has been knocked over, a mm. traffic complaint. You see someone driving poorly in the morning, you think it's dangerous. We don't want you to call us while you're behind the wheel. We want you to wait until it's safe. Online reporting is a perfect way to do that. You can attach pictures. If you have pictures of something that's been damaged or something that you think needs to be reported, you can attach those to an online report. So this really puts the power in the consumer's hands and lets you do it at your convenience when it works for you. Wonderful. Thank you for coming on the show and you talking bet. about it's it It's always my pleasure. Thanks yes, for having me. Yes. And I hope everyone really goes online and uses that resource. It's an amazing thing that you guys it's are important. providing to the yep. community. Very important. We'll have more information available on it on westernsoapnow.com.